guys, it's Sarah from All Coin Bus Ladies. I'm sure a lot of you is here to tell me that what I'm trying to say is incorrect. But before you decide to comment and hate on me, please listen and then leave a comment saying what you think. Give me your opinion of the future market cap by the end of 2018. And let's crack on with this video. So Consensus is a basically a three-day summit which is held at New York Hilton Midtown. It basically will feature 250 speakers from industries like investors, financial institutions, enterprise tech leaders, startups, and many, many more, basically. This year even is expected to basically put down all the previous year's records in terms of bus in attendance. So in 2017, the summit has had 2,000 attendees, 35% executives, 125 speakers, and in this year, we've got over 8,000 attendees right now because I heard they oversold it. And there is loads of notable companies that's currently going to be there. We're going to have Microsoft, CME Ventures, KPMG, PwC, and many, many more big players. So basically, many traders believe that Bitcoin reached the $2,000 mark last year. Because of the event, Consensus 2017 is also believed to have brought Bitcoin to the media spotlight and spread the awareness of a market that basically brought Bitcoin to almost $20,000. But enough about the past, let's talk about 2018. So back in February, the CEO of one of the largest digital currency exchanges made a prediction that crypto assets will reach a combined market cap of $1 trillion before the year is over. So to put that into perspective, that would mean a gain of 280% from current levels. And um, ever since the statement was made, the market declined steadily. Uh, but that hasn't really stopped analysts from predicting higher highs for crypto assets. Let's take, for example, John McAfee, which predicts Bitcoin to hit 1 million by 2020. I should have probably done maps what that would mean for the market cap and what it would be the ev evaluation on it if... Bitcoin reached that much, but I haven't done it, so. so I'll leave that alone. Someone, some of you can leave in a comment, please, of, of the haters that'll be on there. Tell me what you think the market cap will be if that happens. So, but let's evaluate the one trillion market cap. So four months ago, crypto's possible pass over the trillion dollar mark seemed like a, like a bold conclusion, but since speaking near almost 820 billion in early January, the market has plunged 70%. The recovery atoms have been very long and quite painful in a way, and it's only reached once of a half a billion since the collapse began. It's it's very important to for me to mention that past performance doesn't guarantee future success. Take Bitcoin as an example. So the, so the currency's average bearish cycle is around 71 days with the end of each cycle witnessing like a renewed upside in prices. And it was evident last month when the Bitcoin rebounded 20% from its February 26 swing low. However, what separates the recent rally attempts from the more successful ones of the past is sustainability or the lack of it. But when talking about quarter one, which I've already done a review about, we can't forget about the amount of FUD that was currently happening and that played a massive role in taking down the cryptocurrencies. Although Powell talked about a strong business environment around crypto in his evaluation of future market trends about the 1 trillion market cap, this will likely require more than just a budding startup community. For starters, it will require renewed interest in all coins that is equal or even greater than the one seen before Bitcoin. Investors should recall that all coins accounted for more than two thirds of the value universe during the height of the bull market. What we should recall here, for example, is when there was like a period, like an euphoric period, and China issued a blanket ban on everything crypto. China banned all signs of cryptocurrency in September. And by October, the market cap seemed to have forgotten about it. As the last thing, what I want to say is one of the ways I sort of predicted what happens in the market following some trends. Uh, I've made a video about it as well. So one of the tools is basically Google Trends, something so simple, but it says so much about what's currently happening. So in December, the Bitcoin search term on Google had a perfect score of 100. So in other words, it basically means that interest in Bitcoin peaked in December. And um, since then, the trend score for Bitcoin has declined to 14. And that's an 86% drop. The cryptocurrency itself has lost two thirds of its value since the December high. 
Also, the term cryptocurrency peaked in early January. As the market crossed the 800 billion mark, it since has fallen to 16. What's more important is that both terms have seen a steady decline in search traffic since the start of the year. On the face of it, these numbers don't imply that a strong rally is coming anytime soon. And as a summary, I want to say that regardless of whether we hit 1 trillion this year or not, Cryptocurrency is here to stay, it's not going anywhere. The arrival of in institutional trading, the never-ending push for Bitcoin banked ETFs and near universe embrace of blockchain suggests that it's just staying here. And this is what makes me believe that we have not seen the final peak for Bitcoin or just the market in general. So guys, I hope I sort of convinced you in a way with it. If I still haven't, please leave a comment and I'll try and have a conversation with you because I'm really passionate about the market cap um, and spreading the awareness. So yeah, that was pretty much it. Let me know guys if you still think I'm wrong. If I'm wrong and if you do, please let me know in the comments. If you agree with me, also let me know by liking this video. If you yet to subscribe to our channel, please do so. And remember to follow me at Altcoin Sarah and to follow Altcoin Best Ladies on Twitter as well. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye!